Welcome back. Well, it's time to get to know all about the commodity markets. Manisha's Gu Manisha Gupta is joining us with all the updates. Hey, Manisha, good morning. Morning, Sonal. Thank you for that. Well, whatever we lost in last two weeks in terms of the crude oil prices, we seem to have regained all of that in this week. So we are back at around 82 and 85 dollars a barrel for both the crude varieties. Well, the U.S. crude stocks have declined by 10.6 million barrels. That has been supportive. Also, the U.S. rig count has declined for a ninth month in the month of August. Geopolitically as well, there is support coming in as there is a military coup now in Gabon, which is an OPEC member. So markets are looking at supply concerns from there. Also, Saudi Arabia may roll over its additional cuts of 1 million barrels per day in the month of October. And the expectations are that the Saudi also may selling uh, may increase the selling price to Asia to the highest uh, that we've seen in this year. So there is a demand that we've seen continue getting stronger. Markets also are looking at the Gulf of Mexico supply facilities being disrupted because of Hurricane Adelia. So whichever way that you look, there are supports coming in. Also, the just came in uh, China PMI data. While has contracted for a fifth straight month in the month of August. But we are looking at numbers better than last month and better than street expectation. So that perhaps is another supportive factor. All right. Okay. That's what's happening in the commodity market, especially on the crude front. Thank you, Manisha, for joining us. Thank you.